Hi, hello, and welcome to another Elastic Byte session. Uh, today we're going to talk about ingesting metrics. Uh, like always, uh, as a, this is a three weeks uh, Elastic Byte season that's going on, and then every day we cover ten minutes of some specific topic. Uh, on Elastic and this time in this season, we are going to talk about observability. Uh, you could subscribe to this particular events that are happening uh, every day uh, at community.elastic.co, uh, EMEA virtual, as well as there is a sample application wherein if we are presenting something related to code, uh, you would find them at the below GitHub repository. And if you, have, if you have more questions, feel free to drop them in the chat as well as like discuss.elastic.co. So in the today's session, we're going to talk about some introduction to metrics. I'm going to keep it very short, definitely. And then what to measure, types of metrics, nature of metrics, and then definitely demo uh, with, with showing how to ingest these metrics. So specifically, like when we are talking about metrics, uh, they are periodic measurements of some numerical values or states, uh, say some specific resources or indicators, actually. Say in this particular area, like you are taking a 10 second sampling rate of all the containers, maybe CPU threads that are available uh, for, for three different servers or, or different containers that are in different cloud regions. So you could see that it's the measurement of the same software, but uh, it is indicating different numbers. So this is how we kind of collect metrics. Uh, whereas when you compare this with logs, it is more in the chronological order. It's like what has happened at this particular time, but this is what you're trying to collect, measure the different indicators or different states of different resources. Now, what are those resources uh, to measure in infrastructure? Basically, or, or fundamentally, you have like, you know, uh, compute, network storage, and uh, you, you have a memory. So when, when it comes to compute, it could be like how many number of cores, uh, the CPU utilization uh, kind of metrics or, or storage. When it comes to storage, it could be like, you know, your uh, input output operations, uh, your uh, like kind of the available space uh, in the in the particular storage area and then like you know the network uh, network bandwidth or latency when it comes to network and memory similarly like you know heap space stats etc now there are different types the same the same indicators that you could measure for different software uh, in a different way a, a, in different way like you, the questions that you ask might be different like say um, if it comes to data store metrics uh, it would be like say how many queries that are happening on the data store at this particular point of time or uh, if you, when it comes to application it, it it turns out to be the requests or the number of 200s or 500 so the metrics vary based on what you're trying to query like similarly the container orchestration system or a load balancer or a firewall uh, the the metrics vary but then the underlying stats that you're trying to collect is more or less the same but then like your the kind of questions and indicators that you collect or look for is very different and then the metrics basically is voluminous in nature like it is abundant it will be more and we very much based based on the uh, the 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 interval or the sampling rate that you are collecting like say if you are collecting for every 10 seconds or every one second it will be so much and at the same time even if you are collecting for every uh, like you know 30 seconds or so still you will get a lot of events and then you might want to understand a trend that is happening via this matrix and that's why a lot many people aggregate this over a period of time like say one month three months or like six six months or like in a year and then delete them later point of time uh, by just keeping the insights and the data uh, so how what are the ways to ingest uh, these metrics into elastic stack so elastic search all already has uh, logs and uh, you could use also metrics uh, to to add another layer and then like you know enhance your experience in uh, monitoring this infrastructure so uh, metric beat is one good old way like you know you could use modules different modules to enable them and do it which we are going to see it today uh, there is also a relatively new way but also like very prominent nowadays is like elastic agent you have a lot of integrations you could enable them from a ui called fleet and then you just uh, get metrics right away uh, in in the dashboards and there are apps uh, that help you to do, look into this and then you also obviously have the apm language right from the application you could also collect some specific metrics like say if you enable a jvm uh, or a java agent you would get JVM related information uh, directly into your APM uh, area. So today we are going to talk about uh, some of this. Like you know, I, I have a Linux and a Windows box, and I have Metricbit installed in them, and I also show you the configuration. I am streaming all the metrics to the uh, the, the Elastic Cloud instance that is there here. I just have a simple observability Elastic Cloud instance, and then. I have uh, started to ingest this data. So how did I uh, ingest the data? Is like uh, I have this uh, 
Linux box wherein I have installed metric beat and I started running user metric uh, hyphen E and uh, the configuration here is in is under a metric beat YAML file. Uh, you could also use your local or the wherever you have deployed elastic search cluster. You could ship it to that, but I am using the elastic cloud instance where I got a cloud ID and the auth here given here. Uh, you could also create a specific user. You could do, go all, all crazy on like, you know, uh, pointing out a specific user privileges who can see the data whatever uh, based on kibana and the rbac rules uh, also i am streaming logs as well in parallel to the metrics now the metrics are directly shipped to the uh, elastic search cluster which is which can be viewed here uh, under the metrics or under the overview bar and in a metrics tab actually so there is a specific metrics app i'm not talking about the uh, dashboard specifically i'm just looking at the uh matrix inventory app that is there in the observability so there are uh, two machines that i have and i'm collecting stats from it you could also see that uh, the cpu stats and the log rate i am also collecting logs uh, and you could see that the logs are also present right adjacent to the matrix that i am collecting so that way you could correlate if you want uh, i mean there, there is a concept called ecs in elastic stack which we are going to discuss uh, in, in the series and you definitely want to catch that as well uh, and then as well the processes and uh, metadata that's like where the where the machine is hosted or which version of the agent that is running like when it talks to me to beat or like elastic agent so there are many more things that we could go around like obviously there are the good old uh, like you know the metric beats uh, information that is available uh, which you could look at okay sorry probably yeah i should click on this so so yeah there are there is there is a metric beats information that you could always go and look at it uh, the the stacks are collecting i just enabled the system module and did not do anything much uh, so similarly you could go and look at the logs uh, from the log stream in the same area and then probably go and uh, if you are looking for a specific details in the context and you could go and look at uh, from logs to metrics as well. So this is one one good way to like, you know, correlate or look at uh, what's there in, in your infrastructure. It's pretty basic uh, and uh, it, it gives you a good start into understanding what's there in, into your infrastructure. Uh, and uh, this, that's it from today's session. And if you have more questions uh, or please write write it to us in in the discuss.elastic.co or uh, or in the or in the or in the video later point of time thank you for watching uh, see you soon